talk first about today is the new Team Catfish Gold Ring 400 casting reel. And I'm going to show you a little tip on how to get this uh, gold ring reel set up with some 20 pound tug of war monofilament. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is we're going to go ahead and go in here in the uh, inside the reel. Well, I thought I had a little pair of pliers, but I'll use these. Go ahead and grab your line. Now you're going to have to go around your spool. Okay, when you go around a casting reel, you're going to have to go around your spool in there. And we're going to go ahead and go around the spool. Okay, so now what I've done, if Rusty can get a shot of that, is I've went completely around the spool. Okay? I've went around it, and now, instead of me trying to tie my knot down in there, I'm going to tie my knot and trim my knot right up here, and this is the knot that I always use 95% of the time. Folks, you've seen it a jillion times in Team Catfish videos. I'm going to use my old grandma's knot. They call the uh, improved clinch knot. I'm going to go around. I'm going to, I got, got my loop. I'm going to go around my loop about five times with my tag end. Okay, now I've got, a, I've got a loop that goes down over the spool, and then I've got a little tiny hole up here at the top. I'm going to take my tag end and go right back through there, and I'm going to pull this all tight, kind of get it wet, and I'm going to snug this up. But here's the trick. I'm going to go ahead and cinch that down on my hand right there before it goes down into my spool. Now that knot is cinched. You can, you can try it again, cinch it there. And since that improved clinch knot is a slip knot, it's going to slip right down on top of that spool, and you're not going to have to worry about trimming your tag line down there. Now, if you're using braided line, you always want to make sure that you have a monofilament backing underneath your braided line. Don't ever spool braided line right onto a slick uh, spool like this, so put down some tug-of-war monofilament before you put down tug-of-war braid. This is 20-pound tug-of-war monofilament we're using. I'm going to go ahead and, and trim that off, and now should be able to go ahead and just tighten that right up on your spool. There it is, just like that. So now you don't have to get in there, and you don't have to trim your tag in. You've already done it, and that's a tip from how to spool up a, a Team Catfish Gold Ring 400 casting reel from Team Catfish.